Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to use this uh, Mathematica notebook that uh, we developed for your slope field plots. Um, so to uh, begin, let's evaluate the entire notebook. We'll press Control A to select all the brackets at right. You can see that they're now blue and selected. And then Shift Enter. That should run the entire notebook. Now we can see that um, cells that are still evaluating turn black, like this and then it goes away once it evaluates and that shows that it's um, currently evaluating that portion of the notebook. So if we go up to the beginning um, we can see that we initially um, set modules. So we can define a certain function that we want, our um, kind of homemade function that we created, uh, for example plot trajectory field, and we can set that equal to a module. Now this takes in variables that we've arbitrarily defined Y min, Y max, and so on. And then that module repeats itself and runs those various uh, functions that we've told it to. So one such example is making a stream plot. And that's one that we'll show later. Another is a plot slope field, which uses a vector plot. Um, and there's also a plot function. So these modules take in certain conditions as a function and then does this loop with it, um, similar to a do loop. So, if we go under the slope field section, we can see that we've produced a plot with underlying vector plots and um, the slope field associated with it, and then three test functions that we can show the final solutions for. So, what's important from this section is our first one produces those arrows that you see, the vector plot or slope field. The second one produces um, our test functions. Now, these are the initial conditions right here. Now, since this is our t min to t max, um, for most solutions, if we're considering it like time, let's make our um, lowest uh, time bound zero. Now, if you wanted to see how we know that that's t min, you go to our little key here, and you can see that that's t min to t max. You can also see it in the modules section. If we go under the um, plot function, we see that we have t min and t max. So you can always look back to reference that. So, if I choose t min to be 0, now let's find an initial condition. y at t equals 0 equals, let's see where that would appear in the graph, here. So if I go to 2, I should find a solution starting somewhere in this region. So I'll, put, I'll replace that with 2, and if you ever delete it on accident, this is a double equals sign right here, not single. Um, if I hit shift enter and evaluate it, I then have a new solution at that point. Now you will get an error if you don't change your bounds if it's trying to evaluate for negative time on certain differential equations. Um, now let's look at another one, 1.3. And now we see you know, a different solution form and they always track our slope plot. Now if I make it negative 1.3, let's see if I can do that. Um, yeah, you get this solution following um, this trajectory according to our slope field. So if you wanted to insert your own function, um, this section right here will give you a different um, slope field behind it. You'll notice that it's um, in the form y prime equals whatever's inserted here. So if I change this to y prime equals y, then I'm going to get, as we know, an exponential uh, solution. Now the trick is for the plot functions, it's a slightly different form with these initial conditions. So you have to put of t in this section. Um, you'll get an error if those are backwards. So we want y of t to plot the same thing. Now if I evaluate that, we see our expected exponential and then also the negative solutions. So if I had, and this is perfect, my first initial condition um, with the negative y value goes off as a negative exponential decay and these um, blow up in time. So you can fiddle with that in the same way and try different functions for that. Then we also have um, an array of solutions. So this module here is very similar. Let's look at our other example. We see it via our old syntax that we don't have y of t, just y. So we can plug in y there. If I evaluate that, we get eight different solutions in orange of this particular equation. If I make it red, there we are. Now the trick, um, Mathematica will tell you if it doesn't recognize what you're telling it. Um, you see that the text is blue right there. That means that it doesn't know what that is. So you need a capital R, for example. And there you go. And then our second one um, is this particular example. You can also increase the number of solutions. Um, so if we make 18, in case you were really ambitious, there you go. 
um, and you'll note that they always follow the slope field that we've chosen. All right, and then um, here we have varying parameters. So if you ever want to know of any function, question mark, and then that function, Mathematica will tell you all about it. The other option is click it, and then click uh, F1, and that'll tell you the help section on it. All right, so if we go to our manipulate command, we're just taking a certain function, and we're changing this U variable. So in this case, this is a, um, a population model and we are changing this u value which corresponds to a certain um, for example limit on your population and we've also uh, plotted two functions in between to show you what that looks like so you can fiddle with this or click the plus to see other options to play it and uh, various things in, in time it will show you um, how the solution changes as that parameter does and then our last one is uh, solving ODEs you can use dsolve to um, give various solutions and then we show another manipulate command for what that looks like so as I change certain parameters um, I get different nature of the solutions here I'm manipulating the solution to y prime equals y um, times this function inside our population uh, parameter so as you see we can change b for example and that would correspond to how quickly the population responds to change or a where its ceiling is um, so yeah, that's our uh, mathematical file. And feel free to uh, email any of us with questions on these. And uh, good luck looking at your slope fields.